The California Department of Transportation is proposing a project to help reduce the number of suicides and suicide attempts on the Coronado Bridge by installing a vertical net. Fox 5's Clara Benitez spoke to Caltrans on the proposed project and joins us live from Coronado with the plan. Clara. Well, Kathleen, since that bridge opened in 1969, over 400 suicide deaths have happened here at the Coronado Bridge. Now, this plan is still in the early stages, but a goal is to propose these vertical nets to help save lives. You know, people need to understand that this is happening. Bridge closures are happening. People are taking their own lives. It's all preventable with this uh, new uh, vertical Net. Wayne Strickland has been an advocate for a suicide barrier on the Coronado Bridge for many years. The retired Coronado firefighter says he's happy the California Department of Transportation is proposing a vertical net to stop suicides. It'll prevent all the suicides, it'll prevent all the bridge closures, and it'll prevent all these families having all this grief from lost loved ones. The proposed project will be made up of eight to 10 foot tall vertical posts with stainless steel netting, costing around $140 million. We view this really as both a mental health issue and also a transportation issue that needs to be addressed. Coronado Mayor Richard Bailey says the bridge is averaging around one suicide per month and affects hundreds of commuters on both sides of the bridge. Every time there's an attempted suicide and someone does not take their life, fortunately, it does result in a, a traffic back up on both sides of the bridge, which causes a lot of chaos for anyone in the South Bay that's commuting. Antonio Hernandez with Saluna Wellness says this is a great first step in helping those who are in a crisis and might need help. The reality is when people are are in this state of mind, when when they've reached this point, you know, it's 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 most likely after a prolonged period of time of not having having anybody be able to help them, not being able to communicate that they need help. So even having, you know, the barriers as a sign that the city of San Diego cares is important. You know, that's a start. Now, there will be a virtual public information meeting for those who want to learn more about this proposed project that is on February 10th. And if you want to comment on this project, you have until March 1st. Now, Caltrans says if all goes as scheduled and planned, this construction will start in the next three to five years. Reporting live here from Coronado, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.